Every day is a blessing, and every day that I have with my children will be a blessing. To know that I could have been dead or in jail, I'm just gonna cherish every moment. And if the time comes, I'll be brave and share my story with them as best that I can. I had surrounded myself with a great group of people when I was young, so I had fun friends. And actually, one of the friend's brothers is the one who introduced us to marijuana. And that was kind of the beginning of the downward spiral in my life. The addiction started really gripping my life and consuming me. And so every dollar that I had to my name was spent on alcohol, was on drugs. I would go nights where I would sleep on couches, on floors, days without eating because my high was more important to me. It just consumed me. It was there from the moment I got up in the morning to the moment I passed out at night. Four months after my fourth DWI, I had a warrant for my arrest and I was finally sent to jail. When you get there, they strip you of all your clothes, make you stand in a shower with cold water. In that moment, I was scared because I thought, this is my future. Normally when you're in jail, they give you a cellmate and the first night the running light started flickering and the next morning they put me in a room by myself and it was in those times when I was alone in that room that I reached out and I feel like God was there waiting for me. I had felt that I was forgiven and in that forgiveness there was peace and I, I knew that there was a better life for me than the one that I had chosen for myself. So on that 28th day, I went in front of a judge with chains on my hands and I, I broke down and I cried. And I explained to her the change that happened in my life. The first time walking into church after all this had happened, I just felt so welcomed and there's such an embrace there and this energy that I hadn't felt before in my life. I don't even remember what the message was, but it was as if the message had been written specifically for me. So at the end of the sermon, I gave my life to Jesus and realized that I wanted to live my life for Him. There is no problem too big for Jesus. He completely took my addiction to drugs and alcohol. If you give Jesus everything, he'll give you back more than you can even imagine.